Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.45 a.m. right now. And something's going on with Boo, with his right ear. I don't know what it is. I looked in his ear. I don't see anything in his ear. I felt his ear. I don't feel anything on his ear. Um, but he's kind of like holding it down into the side. He wasn't doing it all morning. I just, see? I just noticed it fairly recently. I don't know if he got smacked in the ear or what. See his right ear? So it's the one on his left as we look at him. He's kind of like holding it down and moving it strange. I just warmed up some homemade chicken broth and I mixed it in with some raw food for Hydrox and I'm gonna give it to him. Here you go Hydrox. Look at this, it's so close to me right now. This is like a foot away from me. I have no zoom on this camera. If I put my arm out I could touch Hydrox, that's how close I am to him. Now I'm giving him the food on the paper plate because the food is warm from the warm chicken broth and there are these stainless steel bowls out here but it's really cold right now and if I put the food in the cold bowl uh, then it would get cold. Now we do have the heated kitty cafe um, which is normally how I'll feed Hydrox in the winter like when it gets below freezing and I'm wondering if I need another one of these or maybe a bigger one because if Ditto is going to keep coming around and it's going to be Hydrox and Ditto. There might be issues because normally I keep water on this side so the water doesn't freeze and I put the food on this side. Um, so I don't know. I mean Hydrox and Ditto, they would share that if they had to, but I don't know. I'll have to look into um, whether there's a larger one or maybe getting a second one of these. Look and Hydrox is practically done with his food. So that's good. And Boo is now looking outside because Ditto just showed up. And there's Ditto. Now there's plenty of dry food in the feeder. And I don't know where Ditto hangs out. He came from like the driveway area. He always comes from that area. And there is like one of those Rubbermaid shelters on the side of the driveway over there. So I don't know if he came from there. I don't know if he's hanging out in the shelter. I don't know if he's hanging out in someone else's yard. He could be. Um, I don't know, but I will give him and Hydrox more food, but first I'm going to feed the inside cats. It is 8.52 a.m. I'm just about to give the cats their breakfast. They're getting homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in. They're getting herbs, especially Simba and Boo's getting herbs, and then Stella and Splash are getting some just less. And normally what I would do when I'm feeding them here upstairs is I will take the crunchy container and sprinkle some crunchies on top of their food. Hey guys. So the problem right now is that I left the crunchy container here in this room on the floor and it's not where I left it. So somebody moved the crunchy container. Who moved the crunchy container? I say it was Boo. And I'm just really surprised that I did not hear anything, but that just tells you how exhausted I was yesterday because when I went to bed, I just fell asleep immediately and slept through the night. Nothing woke me up because I was that tired. Even a cat trying to break into a crunchy container. Who did it? Who moved the crunchy container? Who moved the crunchy container? It was you, Boo? Boo, you're admitting it? Somebody knocked over the crunchy container and pushed it all the way under this piece of furniture. This is where I left the crunchy container last night. Here, just sitting here like this. Somebody knocked it over and somebody pushed it. And who would that be, Boo? You gonna show me how you do it? Boo, show me how you knocked over the crunchy container and how you moved it. It is 9 a.m. and I opened a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets, mixed in some warm water, and I gave some to Hydrox. 
and I gave some to Ditto. And as I was putting it in Ditto's bowl, he was rolling around on his back only like two feet away from me. So what I did was I held out the spoon, like it had a little bit of cat food on it, and I held it out to him while he was, you know, rolling around. And I thought he would just like jump up and run, but he did not do that. He just looked at it at first and then he smelled it. He smelled the spoon. I mean, that is so huge because, you know, as a feral cat, they're, um, they don't really do that. They usually like attack it first. Like what Hydrox does, Hydrox will swat at it. And that's very much typical feral cat behavior. But Ditto is a bit more open to um, like interaction. Like Ditto wants to be friends. Ditto is obviously a much younger cat than Hydrox is. Ditto reminds me a lot of Boo. Even with his behaviors, like when Boo was living outside with Stella, he would like to play. He was playful like that. He was open to the idea of toys. So maybe when I have some time, I could try to play with Ditto with some toys. I'd like to try that. See how he responds to that. Is he automatically afraid of them like Hydrox? Or is he more curious about them? Will he watch them at first and kind of wonder like what's going on there? And then maybe think about playing? Because that's like what Boo did. He used to watch. He would watch and watch and watch and then he would want to join in and the kittens obviously had a lot to do with that because the kittens you know they didn't know to be afraid so they just automatically started playing with toys and boo would watch them play with toys and then he would see that it's not bad and scary so then he would want to play so maybe ditto would like that i mean we'll see the weather is getting colder and there's hydrox and this is what is going on here. So everyone finished their food except for Boo. But that's okay, because Boo eats slow. I just have to keep an eye on this because if Boo walks away from his plate, Stella will eat it. She's sitting about six feet away from him right now. She's sitting near the sofa. She's just waiting. She's waiting for Boo to finish and then she's gonna finish his food. So I have to kind of keep an eye on him. So I would say Boo ate maybe a third of his food and I just put two treats like I kind of put them in the food so he has to dig them out and eat the food around it the thing is with Boo like he would be happy just putting his food aside and then going back to it but that's not gonna happen with the other cats because they'll eat it so it's kind of like I have to encourage him to eat it all at once it is 4.48 p.m. right now, and it has been cold all day, and it's been cloudy all day, and thankfully it hasn't been raining yet, but we're supposed to get rain, and right now it feels like it might uh, be starting to drizzle. I'm actually getting a little bit rained on right now. I feel like I hear the rain coming. So there's Ditto, there's Hydrox. I'm gonna give him some homemade raw food. <laughs> Ditto's rolling around. They're gonna eat it and I'm gonna give them a can and then that's it. I just came inside to open another can of food for the outside cats and Simba came limping into the kitchen. But then I was like, Simba, are you limping? Are you limping? And then he started walking normal. So he's obviously not 100% healed. He still needs to uh, relax and I just feel like, okay, he's starting to feel better, so now he's running around again, and I think he's gonna pull it, and I'm dealing with the pulled muscle in my leg right now also, like, I'm I'm squatting down to take this uh, video, and uh, yeah, my leg's killing me, so, um, Simba, both me and you, we gotta rest, okay, Simba? Me and you, we gotta rest. Ditto's eating the raw food that I gave him. He was eating dry food out of the feeder, but then I just gave Hydrox some canned food. So when I was doing that, then Ditto ran over to his bowl to eat what's in it. So um, this is what they're getting. They're splitting a 5.5 ounce can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And Hydrox gets about two thirds of it and Ditto gets about one third of it because Ditto likes to eat the dry food. And I also think Ditto is kind of hanging around a neighbor's house, maybe having some food there too. Today for dinner, instead of crunchies, the cats are getting these little dried minnows. 
And Simba should like this. So this is Simba's dinner. And this is Boo's dinner. I kind of pushed it into the food more. Splash is going to get a few to try. And Stella's not getting any because I don't think she likes them. Okay, ready guys, you ready? Simba can't wait to eat his food. Stella likes her food, however I give it to her. Boo is digging into his food right away. We'll see how well he eats this. And Splash dove right into his food also. I'm really hoping that these little dried minnows would be a good alternative to crunchies. It looks like Simba already picked all the dried fish out of his. And Boo's working on his food. I'm wondering if I should just get more like freeze dried uh, treats for the cats and use those as food toppings instead of crunchies on their food. Maybe that's what I'll do and I'll just reserve crunchies for like a, a once a day snack where the cats will get a few. So. On an average day, the cats really don't get many treats at all. Like they might get a few, maybe two treats, two little treats. Some days they don't get any treats and the crunchies are really what they get as a treat. So that would be understandable, like why they like the crunchies so much because it's really like their treat. So, um, and again, crunchies are just dried cat food. I know there's often people that are watching these videos for the first time. And, um, yeah, that's what, maybe I'll try that. I'll try, um, I'll try replacing the crunchies that I normally put on their food with some freeze-dried treats instead. I think that would be healthier, a, a better option for them. And look at Boo. Boo's eating his food, which is good. And Simba's, like, done with his. He's looking for more. Lick your plate. It's 8.22 a.m. I just walked past the living room and I saw this. These two are up to something. I think Sim is trying to get Splash to lick his head. Stella just sat down. They're all waiting for breakfast, but today I'm making my own breakfast first. Then they're gonna eat second. How you doing Simba? So Simba is still limping a little bit. Every now and then his leg still bothers him, but that's to be expected. He should be healing gradually and not just all of a sudden one day running around like a nut. Stella got some pets this morning. She's waiting to eat, they're all waiting to eat. Cats like to eat. It's 9 a.m. right now, and Hydrox is in his house. He was just looking out the door. There he is. I just put some water in the heated kitty cafe, and if Hydrox comes out, I might give him food, but I don't want to disturb him. Look at this. Look at this. He's going out the back door. Hydrox went out the back door. Oh, my God. That's so awesome because the... Um, the doors are not like properly aligned. I was a little concerned about whether cats could do that or not, but he could do it. So you see the clear door on the inner cat house? Well, there's a smaller than that. Well, the opening on the other side is smaller than that opening, but it's not aligned with it. It's like kind of off to the side. Um, and that's why the inner cat house is pushed all the way toward this door so that if he wanted to, he could go out the back door and then squeeze his way out the back. So I'm glad he just did that. And there he is, and I'll give him some food. Okay, I just gave Hydrox one of the large scoops of homemade raw food with some warm water mixed in. And what I just realized is that Hydrox is like living in a hotel at this point. So he has his new heated cat house, right? And then when he wants a meal, he just comes out of the house and sits there and meows and he gets a meal. And then he goes back in his cat house. This cat has it so good right now, it's crazy. 
It's like I'm gonna open up a B&B, &B, a bed and breakfast. This is the bed and breakfast for feral cats. The Lucky Feral's bed and breakfast for feral cats. It's 5.13 p.m. right now. I just got home and I went outside and I gave Hydrox his dinner. So he's getting like a really large scoop of homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in and there's ditto. So I gave Hydrax most of it in his bowl and I did put some in Ditto's bowl. Ditto, it's in your bowl, go eat it. It's in your bowl. I don't know where Ditto was. Maybe he was in one of the shelters. I don't know, he was walking from the other side of the patio so I don't know where he was coming from. But he's meowing like he wants food but there's food in his other bowl. And Hydrax is eating. <laughs> I can uh, open a can and uh, and put some plates out with canned food on it. Today is the first day that I saw ice along the top of the water in one of the water bowls out there. And it's really, really cold out right now. Like today's the first day that's starting to feel like winter. So um, I wanna make sure the cats get enough to eat because they need extra calories to keep them warm. And as far as Hydrox goes, uh, it's good for him to get the raw food because it's healthier for him. It's more healing for his body. Now, Ditto does have some issues with his mouth also. Um, when I was close to him the other day, I could see that he is missing some of his front teeth too. So, um, yeah. Here goes Hydrox. And there goes Ditto. Ditto's like, oh no, there's no food left. Ditto, go look at the other bowl. There's more food in the other bowl. It's 5.20 p.m. And I just gave the cat some canned food. And I gave most of it to Ditto. I gave like two thirds of it to Ditto and like one third to Hydrox. Ditto is still eating it and Hydrox ate his. And he went right back towards the house and he's sitting right in front of the house and he's taking a bath. And then maybe after he takes his bath, he'll go inside of his house. He's very protective of this house. And honestly, I haven't seen him really move far away from it since, it's, since he's discovered it. Right now, someone's scratching on one of the cat towers. Yep, it's Boo. Boo wants to see what's going on. Is Hydrox gonna go in his house? Is Hydrox gonna walk around? Hydrox would probably need to go use a litter box somewhere. I've never seen Hydrox do his business in the yard. I don't know where he goes and does that. But look, he likes to sit, he likes to sit on his mat right in front of his house. Oh, he's gonna go check out Ditto's plate. So I guess Ditto, didn't, I guess Ditto did not finish the food that I gave him. Maybe Hadrax will eat it. Meanwhile, here's Boo. Boo has to see what's going on. It's about 12 p.m. right now, and the cats are having a late breakfast. I had to be out of the house very early this morning. So I ran out without breakfast and I did not feed them. So I just got home and they're having their first meal of the day. And I'm gonna sit down and eat something after I feed them and then after I take care of Hydrox. Hydrox is in his house where it's nice and warm and comfortable. Usually if he wants food, he'll come out and he'll meow at me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill up the heated kitty cafe with some fresh water. And I'll put some food out for Hydrox because I did defrost some raw food for him. So if he wants to eat it, he can eat it. And if he wants to wait, he can wait and eat it later. But he loves sitting in this house and just looking out the window. 
So this is what's going on here. Um, obviously, most of the water has evaporated and it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna put some fresh water in. There's no dry food in the feeder, so I'm gonna take the roof off. I'm gonna just make sure everything's working okay. Okay, so the feeder seems to be working okay. I just reset the feeder times because of the um, daylight savings change, so hopefully they will go off at the correct times now, which will be around 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So this bowl of water I use as a weather indicator just to see like where are we as far as like freezing and stuff like that. So there is a, there's a pretty solid layer of ice on top of this water right now. And on this one, there's no ice. So that's really interesting. It's about 1230 right now. And Hydrox came out of his house. He was hanging out by the back door. I just gave him some food in the heated kitty cafe because he has to get back to using that. The, uh, the stainless steel bowls um, stay really cold. And that's why the water was frozen in the stainless steel bowl versus the, uh, versus the plastic. The plastic keeps it warmer than the stainless steel. So, um, I put the food in the stainless steel bowl that's in the heated kitty cafe. And if Hydrox wants it, he can go get it. It's there. And maybe he's not too hungry. Maybe he just wants to hang out in the sun. Right now it's really nice in the sun. Um, and, you know, he can't be in that house 24 hours a day. He can't just be hanging out in there. So it's good for him to get out during the day move around, do things. But he really doesn't want to go too far from that house. He just wants to kind of stay near it. Maybe he's protecting it so no one else goes in it. I wouldn't mind if he shared it with Ditto. There's plenty of room for two cats in there. If the two of them were in there keeping each other company, I think they could get along. I mean, if they eat out of the same bowl, chances are really good. They can just kind of like hang out with each other in a cat house. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, you know, there's other shelters for Ditto to use. There's three other shelters in this yard. And it's about 1.30 p.m. right now. And Stella was laying by the back door, so I just put the catnip beach out. Put the beach, beach blanket out so she could enjoy herself. I just grab the catnip. I'll sprinkle some catnip on catnip beach and here's Boo. Boo says, where's the catnip? It's right here, Boo. Want some? Okay, I'll put some down. I just sprinkled a bunch of catnip on catnip beach. Stella tried to bite my hand. She goes a little crazy around catnip. She might chase everyone away. We'll see what happens. Well, she's going to make herself comfortable. Stella? 
share the beach with Boo. Okay? You let him go on the beach, okay, Stella? You share it with him, okay? He wants to lay in the sun also. There's plenty of room for two of you, okay? Okay, Stella? Share it with Boo. Be nice, Stella. Be nice, just share it with Boo. Boo likes you, Stella. Boo loves you, Stella. Boo loves you. Look at her tail, this girl. <laughs> Stella? Stella, you're a nice girl. You're a nice girl, Stella, and Boo loves you. You know he loves you, Stella. And here's Simba. Simba says he wants to lay on the beach also. He says, is the coast clear? Is everything okay over here? Can I lay down on the beach too? There's plenty of room for three cats, Stella. Someone can lay up here. And someone can lay down next to you, Stella. Okay. You're okay. You had all the catnip. You had first dibs. Someone else could have it. You could share it with them. It's okay. You're okay. You can relax here. You don't have to move, Stella. Stella, you don't have to move. You stay right there, okay? Be nice to Boo. Boo wants to lay in the sun, okay, Stella? Go ahead, Boo. Go ahead, Boo. You can go. I'll protect you. You can walk over there. You can walk over to the door. You can lay down next to Stella. Everything is okay. Stella. Stella. Stella, Boo loves you. Stella, Boo loves you. Boo loves you. Be nice to Boo. Be nice to Boo. Boo loves you. You got catnip on you. You've been rolling around in the catnip. Okay, just take a nap. Take a nap. And then you won't... You won't be bothered by anyone if you take a nap, okay? Okay, Sims? Okay. We all know that at any minute she could snap. She could get mad for no reason. Well, the reason would be that she doesn't want to share. Because she's so happy and comfortable right now. She says, don't bother me. Okay, Stella. Be a good girl. My phone just rang and I took a few steps away to get it. And then I turned around and saw this. So Simba walked past Stella and she didn't bother him. So he says he's gonna lay in the sun or check out the sunshine. Maybe he'll sit down for a while or lay down and Boo's gonna hang out there too. So there's three cats. And Stella just growled and they all ran away. Stella, be nice. Be nice to the boys. It's 1.45 p.m. and look what we have here. I moved the round tubs over so Simba could hang out in the sun. And he jumped in a tub. And Stella is still on Catnip Beach and Boo has kind of crept over into the corner He's trying to rub up on whatever catnip he can get without disturbing Stella. Three cats on the beach. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.